Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see the titles below, we are going to be talking about my favorites for the month of November. You guys know I'm in like a transition situation where I am moving and I can't take everything that I have in my makeup kit with me or in my makeup closet that I did have with me. So, you know, I had to kind of like downsize and take what I can to produce content for you guys. So these are some of the products that have been getting me by, getting me through allowing me to actually sit down here and record for you guys and create these awesome looks. So, if you guys are interested in what has been my bops and my flops for the month of November, keep on watching. So, the first two items that are a complete bop that I love and I need to have no matter what the situation may be are these two concealers from Wet n Wild. You guys already know, I talked about this in a previous favorites. They're gonna to continue to be a favorite because they're just so bomb.com. If you guys have not gotten these concealers just yet, please stop by your local Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, any place that sells Wet n Wild and pick them up. Even Walmart sells Wet n Wild and pick them up. They're like $3.99, but I think like my Rite Aid just have them like, you know, buy one, get one half off. And of course, you know, I had to pick up some backup ones. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers is a complete bop. The next item that is a complete bop is a complexion product. And you know I love to try to at least slay every day and all that good jazz. And that is the MAC uh, Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. This is one of my favorite powders to use to kind of highlight the under face, set my makeup, and give me a skin-like finish without feeling like I'm so cake face or so, you know, having so much oil. You guys, I cake it up on my channel as much as I, I do I cake it up but when I'm just doing my everyday regular face beat I use this and I use a BB cream and I'm out the door and that's all I need so this is one of my favorites this is a complete bop the matte mineralized skin finish and dark focus. the next item that is a complete bop and that is sickening to death is the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick. I have the shade 1993. This is the only one that I own. I think I do. I think this is the only one I own. I have to go check my lipstick container that's in storage once I get everything situated. But this is in the shade 1993. You guys know I love the bullet version of 1993. But the liquid version of 1993 is a lot more deeper, a lot more browner. And I just really, I really... I, She's everything. She's a complete bop. So if you guys have not picked her up or had a chance to get her, please do so. I think that Macy's is having a half off sale on all of their Urban Decay Lip Lipsticks for like nine bucks. That that's a, that's a perfect time to go and stock up and get almost all the colors for half the price. Pretty much like buy one get one free. So complete bop. The next item is also another complexion item as well too. It is a setting powder and I have two of them that I want to talk about. The first setting powder is from Sephora. This is Sephora Bright Set Setting Powder. This is completely discontinued. You cannot get this powder anywhere. It is just simply just like this, this perfect loose setting finishing powder that you can just blur the skin highlight the, the, the skin and just it's just so sickening and then another one that you can probably pick up is the MAC prep and prime CC this is the loose neutralizing powder and banana these are very similar again I paid like seven dollars for this and this was given to me but the price point will be on the screen somewhere where you can get this but like I said this these two powders are sickening to like brighten the under eye area to like set the concealers to highlight the skin. It's just so gorgeous. These are both a complete bop. The next item is pretty much like being a dead horse. You guys already know I'm gonna put this in my box or flops because I, I couldn't leave this in the store shoot and I couldn't leave this with my rest of my makeup. And that is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is a complete Bob says, like, if you have not bought this just yet, I don't know what you're sleeping on. I don't know what you're sleeping under. But you need to get out of that house, honey, and get you this. This this, this gloss is sickening. It's everything. It's like lit. It's like that lip gloss that you need. The last item that is a complete bop that I need in my life is this Bosha. This is the Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. This literally is like one of the best, almost one of the best mattifying primers on the market. 
It is very much a skin balancing primer. It is, has some health ingredients that protect your skin and, you know, just make the skin look a lot more mattified, of course. I just I don't want to say the word mattified, but that's the best way I can be able to describe it. It's also skincare based as well, too. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of like a makeup skincare based item, then this is a great primer to balance your skin oils, your pH balance your skin, also detoxify while you're wearing foundation because it is white charcoal based. So Ben Chilton charcoal, charcoal based. So this is a good primer. This is a complete box, and I recommend getting a sample from Sephora if you can. If not, then just buy the whole thing, girl, because this is really good. This is a really good primer. Really good primer. I guarantee you. Alright, so the first flop that I have on my channel, this is like probably like the last flop <laughs> that's on my channel. And that is the Mineral Fail Perfecting Finishing Powder from Bare Minerals. This powder is so salmon pink. It is so pink. It is just a uh, I don't understand this powder. Like I don't I don't understand it. It's I don't know why I, I bought this powder thinking that it was going to give me like a nice finish, but it's just so chalky. It's just chalky now. This would be pretty to kind of like minimize your oils throughout the day type of ordeal but as far as like using it to set the skin it's not a great setting powder so for my chocolate babies my dark skin girls out there i don't really recommend getting the the mineralized veil the mineral veil from bare minerals as like a baking powder or a setting powder stick to the foundation powders for that i mean but this is a complete slop the next item is also a complete flop. This is the Lancome Matte Juicy Shaker. This looks like I've been sucking on a popsicle and it is just, it's, it stained my lips. It like, it don't do nothing for me. And I really love the original Juicy Shakers, but the matte ones are a complete flop. Like. If you want something minimalistic that will give you color on your lips, then yes, this is this this will do that. But for those who have drier lips like me, I have to always have a gloss or something on top of my lips because they're always dry. Especially with really cool lipsticks, this is a no. So, Juicy Shakers from Lancome is a complete flop. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested in this tutorial, please click the eye above. It'll definitely have that tutorial there ready for you to watch if you guys are wondering what's on my face. And yeah, I'm going to end this video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.